Thunder right. stands about what, 6'2"? Yeah. And he's going up against a guy 6'9", 6'10". Right. Trying to push him away from the shaded lane. Also oh, getaway there by Jonas, but he loses the leather. Here's Heltergrad. Well, scored pass by Bastion. He's strong. William Weber with a long rebound. He needs a break. To Washington. Washington drives to the hoop and gets the layup. Oh, great flashing ability being displayed there by Jay Wash. A good decision not settling for those jump shots. It's his first two points of the game. Well, that's what San Miguel has been doing here in this first quarter. They have been attacking the rim. Kubit against Freeman. But I saw thought about it. Gives it to Rivas. It's a handoff. Eight seconds to shoot. Sunday, good fake. Gets away from the defense and makes the defense pay. Only a long two for Sunday Salvation. Jonas Villanueva using the Penisa screen. There's the kick out. Villanueva tries to stand for a three. That's short. Here's Helterbrand, met up by Don Don Ontiveros. Noel, two say three. Nothing there. And San Miguel will slow things down. Could be a timeout call by Coach Tonkinson. Shade under five minutes remaining. Ginebra comes charging back. Only down by four. All right. Uh, just in time uh, to see that foul of J.C. Intel and Nick Penisi as we join Cheska at courtside. Gabe Freeman has made no secret of how much he respects Daniel Defonso, but right now it's about respecting San Miguel. They are professionals representing San Miguel on and off the court. Now that kind of behavior, uh, behavior is unacceptable as San Miguel players, and now they're all dealing with the repercussions. Everybody knows how important Danny and Mark are to their team, so other players are going to have to step up. And Gabe has absolutely no doubts whatsoever that they can pull this off. Now when it comes to guarding a guy like David Noel, Gabe thinks that they are evenly matched, but any guy who goes from D1 to the NBA, you know he's good. Richard and Norman? Well, Coach, you've played a lot of years in the PBA, and you've had uh, your share of hecklers during your uh, career. I used to smile at them, Richard. <laughs> you used to smile at them? Well, I mean, they're paying fans. I mean, yeah. They're paying to come into the arena and actually paying to see myself and other players play. So there's nothing they basically can do once I get on the floor. Well, I had but my share of hecklers too, you know. <laughs> Whenever I had the ball, they always tell me to shoot. Tira muna. <laughs> <laughs> and I just smile at them too. In the meantime, here is uh, Intal on the line. Oh, misses the first one. In the meantime, let's take a look at our KFC delivery assist of the quarter. It's a Freeman to Penisi. Magpa delivers to KFC. Just dial 887-8888. KFC, it's finger licking good. It's interesting how these two teams get it done offensively in different ways, Richard. Uh, San Miguel has the low post game. Yep. Particularly with Pena coming in. They posted up Freeman early. They've been post posting up uh, Mick Penisi. Jay Wash can post up. And that's how they score. They go inside out. They do take three-point shots, but they can pound you inside. On the other side, for Hinebra, they don't really have a strong low post game. Mm -hmm. They're more into slashing to the basket and taking three-point shots. But they both get it done well offensively. Should it be a ploy also in the part of uh, Barangay Hinebra to really put a smaller guy uh, on Penis or maybe even uh, Peña and let them try to beat them instead of the other guys uh, beating them from the outside? Well, I think it's more about the matchup. You have to put a big guy on Freeman. That's really the problem. Yeah. Instead of putting a small forward on Freeman, you have to put a Rafi Rivas or yeah. David Noel on, on Freeman, which really creates a matchup with the other big. And here's uh, Jay Washington. San Miguel going back to that mismatch again. Washington against Intel. And uh, they're successful so far. Here's the Jay Wash. Fernsey's the official vitamins of the PBA, a proud sponsor of the final series of the 2009 Modelite PBA Fiesta Conference. Approaching the four minute mark of the opening period, here's Intal. Mamaril to Helterbrand, guarded by Olsen Lasella. Four seconds to shoot. And 
There's an offensive foul call on J.J. Helderbrand. That's foul number two on J.J. That's a good read by Austin Rosella playing good defense there during the offensive foul. The veteran coming up with a big play here in the first quarter. Of course, Rosella also a recipient of a wayward elbow from Ronald Kubit in the uh, last minute of uh, that game number two. That's part of it. <laughs> this is the championship series here. There's Washington against Intal. Washington now goes closer to the basket. Ronald Tubid looking down court. He's passing Noel. Noel on the outside knocks down that three. That's what we just talked about. You never can get back into the game very quickly because they are not afraid or shy about taking three-point shots. And that's uh, the eighth point for David Noel. Vasella. Montevelos, well guarded, well covered by Tubid. Now he gets away and gets the basket. Nobody calling out the uh, back screen. Well, actually, Freeman was actually asking for the basketball and <laughs> accidentally set a screen there for his teammate. And Mamaril and Peña banging bodies. An offensive foul called on Billy Mamaril. Take a look at the last play. He's asking for the basketball there and then ends up screening for his teammate. And wide open was Don Don Ontiveros. And right now, let's go over to uh, Cheska once again. Richard, you mentioned uh, Olsen Rosella's eye. Now, if you take a look at his right eye, it's still a bit puffy and bruised from getting an elbow to the face from Ronald Tubit. Now, if you saw that last game, then you'll remember Olsen being pretty ticked off about it. And as for Olsen, it happened in the last two minutes of the game. San Miguel was up by so many points, and it just wasn't called for. And he was waiting for an apology from Ronald, and that was why he was the one who actually approached Ronald Tubit. It took a while, but Ronald eventually apologized. Richard and Norman? All right. Now, in this play, <laughs> Ronald Tubit just banged into Olsen. Rasella setting him to the floor. <laughs> and there's Tubid looking at Rasella as Rasella talks to the referee. Oh, well, never is going to have to be careful here, Richard, because the last game, San Miguel shot 26 out of 29 from the foul line. That's 89 percent. And so far, San Miguel's been getting to the line here in this first quarter. All right, right now, let's go and join uh, Chico Reyes. Thank you, Richard. When I visited their practice yesterday in Green Meadows, the first thing I asked the fearless was, what was his short talk with Olsen Rosella all about after their one-on-one -on -one collision late in the fourth quarter of Game 2? Tubid said that he approached Rosella to apologize for the unintentional elbow Rosella received as he was just trying to get into scoring position. Richard? And that's the spirit of fair play in this coverage. We always get two sides. That's <laughs> <laughs> the uh, piece of being biased. Here's Intal with a drive inside. Oh, Noel picks up the garbage and turns it into gold. And that's serious hang time there by David Noel. Going straight to the basket. Take another look at this. He gets that offensive rebound there and actually out jumps Jay Wash. From another angle, and uh, as you were saying, a lot of hang time there from David Noel. And right now, you see the entry of Cyrus Baggio. Thank, thank Fern C, the official vitamins of the PBA, proud sponsor of the final series of the 2009 Modalite PBA Fiesta Conference. Chico Laneta is also in the game for Barangay Ginebra, as well as Wesley Gonzalez for San Miguel Pio. Rasella with a running uh, jumper. Too strong. Laneta saves it. Here's Barangay Ginebra off and running. Noel barges into Jay Washington and is called for a foul. That's foul number two on David Noel. And Noel is, is a little bit upset right now. And that time he just ran over his man. It's a big development here for Coach John Wichico as Noel picks up his second foul here. And we're on, only in the first quarter. So he did pick up a foul in the first 10 seconds of the game. They go to Peña at the post, dying bodies with Mamaril, uses his right hand to protect the ball. And that's the big improvement of Dorian Peña's game. He can now go to his right hand. He used yeah. to be basically all left before. Before, he had no right turn. <laughs> <laughs> Only one way. Noel with a cross-court pass. Kubit against Ontiveros. Kubit makes his move. Cross over. Five seconds to shoot. Here's Lanete. Lanete carves from space. Lanete, yes! yes. 